If you've done any work at all with Prisma before, you've probably come across Prisma Studio, and that's our graphical user interface editor for your data. You can load up your database, you can do any kind of CRUD operations you need to do on your data. You can do things like filtering and sorting, and you can also establish relationships between different records in different tables very easily right within the editor. Now, Prisma Studio was launched back in 2020, and since then, there haven't been a ton of visual updates to the editor. It has worked and operated in much the same way since that time. But today, we've got some awesome new upgrades to Prisma Studio, which should help a lot with your experience as a developer. So let's take a look to see what's new, and we're going to do so over here in this Prisma Postgres project. I'm at console.prisma.io, and the first thing that we can note is that Prisma Studio is available within the Prisma Data platform here. And the great thing about having Prisma Studio here in the console is that we can collaborate on our databases with our teammates. We don't have to load anything up locally. We don't have to work in silos. Instead, we can go in and start to work on our data together. So the first thing that you'll probably notice if you've seen Studio before is that our models are now listed on the left side in this side panel. Previously, we had a main page with all the models listed. You'd, you'd click back and forth between the main page and your data area to get to new models. Instead, they're all listed conveniently now for us on the left side. Of course, we still have the ability here to search through our models and find the one that we want. And so there should be less clicking back and forth in general. Now, if you've done edits to your data here in Prisma Studio before, you probably know how you can double click into a cell and you can change a value there, hit save like that, and your new value will show up. But one thing that can get cumbersome is if we have a lot of columns, that's a lot of left to right scrolling that we've got to do to go and search for the field that we want to get to. So instead now, what we've got is you can come over here and you can click on this icon to open up a right side panel, which is going to have all of the data for that particular record exposed. So that should make for an easier experience when we go to find the piece of data that we want to change. Top to bottom scrolling is a little bit more convenient than left to right scrolling. So now we can come into a cell that we want to change and we can make that update. Once we're done, we can just click to the side here and hit save to have that record change go through. Okay, so the final DX improvement to show for today is when we get into a situation where we have multiple tabs open, so let's say we've got comment there, we've got post as well. Often when we have multiple tabs open, it can be really cumbersome to go and click the X on each one if we want to close everything down. That's how it was in previous versions of Prisma Studio, but now we've got this close all button, which will just close everything down all at once. So Prisma Studio is available now in the Prisma console. You can use it with your Prisma Postgres database, or you can bring your own database as well, and you can get access to your data via the console. But of course, Prisma Studio is still available for local development. So just like before, you can run NPX Prisma Studio in your terminal and you'll get Studio fired up on localhost 5555. And because you're probably wondering, it isn't just light mode that's supported here. If we come to the gear icon, we can select the dark theme to get dark mode enabled. So that's it for the roundup of new features in Prisma Studio today. If you have any questions about these new features, we would love to hear from you. And if you've got any suggestions about other new features you'd like to see to improve the developer experience in Prisma Studio, we'd love to hear about those as well. We're at prisma.io on the web, or you can reach out to us on Twitter. We're at Prisma there. Thanks for watching.